Good morning, YouTube. It is December 7th, Wednesday, um, 10.50 a.m. Uh, I was hoping to get out of, out of my apartment a little earlier. Not a lot earlier, let me be 15 minutes earlier, but... Um, yeah, it is what it is. Sometimes it takes me a while to get up. Um, didn't have to get up this early today. It kind of chose to. Um, I'm on my way downtown to a uh, to a protest. Um, not even sure which email list uh, I, I got notified of this one on, but. I'm on so many email lists, and, and, and they're all ones I've signed up for. In fact, I kind of got, I get irritated every now and then, because sometimes I realize stuff that I've signed up for, uh, Google, um, not only in my, in, 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 in my um, email, but I noticed uh, yesterday also in my, uh, in my text messages, uh, Google will identify them as spam and hide them in a spam folder, which, I don't know, it really pisses me off. I mean, I'd, I'd like to delete my own spam, thank you. I'd like to make the decision as to what, what is spam and what is, uh, you know, what is um, not spam. Anyway, um, I'm glad this one didn't land in my spam folder. Uh, I forget the, I forget the uh, organization that's it's putting this on and hopefully it's not an organization whose overall beliefs I am opposed to but I certainly believe what they're protesting today and that is um, they're marching against vaccine mandates <clears throat> marching against vaccine mandates particularly ones that are being imposed by the uh, city of phoenix on city of phoenix government employees um that's just something i diametrically oppose um i as somebody who's like kind of stepped up their their job searching right now it's bothering me that there are a lot of companies that if they get as far as hiring me and then they demand to see uh, proof of vaccine that's going to be pretty much the end of my uh into my process with them. Um, yeah, because obviously I don't have that and I don't uh, have any intentions of getting that. Um, it's not something I talk about very often in my, in my vlog, but I'm, I've been pretty outspoken about it in uh, comments where it's the topic of discussion on, on uh, YouTube videos, under YouTube videos, and oh man, all this homelessness garbage. Stolen shopping carts. God, that just pisses me off. Um, anyway, uh, well, yeah, some guy kind of camping out over there, but I, it looks like they've taken the, uh, there used to be like a table and chairs over there. It looks like they've taken it away because so many people loiter at it. And the table and chairs used to kind of be the smoking area for that clinic over there. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I, 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 I am pretty outspoken about that in, in YouTube comments. It's not something I talk about on my vlog because, to be honest, it's not, it's not like it's the crux of my life or anything. And I don't think anybody comes here, comes to this channel for political commentary. But um, like, uh, like um, Shango, <laughs> while most of his channel is about rebuilds and teardowns of energy electronics, um, an occasional destruction of vintage electronics. Um, his, uh, his political leanings do seep into his commentary on occasion. So, it's just, it's... Ooh, wow, custom doors on that one. Um, it's, it's, to a point, it's kind of part of who I am. So, I mean, deal with it. You don't like it. <laughs> There's a million better content creators than me on YouTube that you can watch. And on that note, I'm probably one of the worst content creators. So funny you're even watching this, right? Um, 
So, uh, anyway, one thing that I've, I've been particularly outspoken on the subject of vaccines is, um, A, the uh, COVID vaccines don't even uh, match the traditional definition of vaccine. And I'm not going to go into the details of that. Um, but I, I, I'll hit the basics of it for those who, for whatever reason, don't know this. Um, a traditional vaccine um, causes your body to make antibodies against whatever it is you're vaccinating against, which stops you from uh, getting and spreading whatever that is. Um, the, uh, the COVID vaccines don't. In fact, the COVID vaccines aren't really a vaccine at all as much as uh, medication to mitigate symptoms. And, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I mean, if, if you get, if you're getting a disease, it's certainly better to not have symptoms than to have symptoms that cause you to be violently ill and going to the hospital. So, so you might ask, well, why get a vaccine then? Um, the main thing that prevents the spread of disease is, uh, is immunity. And I'm 100% convinced I have natural immunity against COVID. I got COVID, not horribly bad, but definitely I was symptomatic. Uh, and went to get tested. In fact, I went to get tested at that uh, Honor Health Fast Med um, um, urgent care right in front of me. Yeah. In, in no surprise at all, it's found to be COVID positive. This was in, uh, I want to say June of 2020. Um, I, I forget the exact date, I forget the exact month, but um, I could easily look it up just by looking up when, when the different bar shutdowns were enacted in Arizona. Um, because I, I started showing symptoms at the end of a tail end of a karaoke show, which was on a Thursday. And another karaoke show scheduled for the next day on Friday. And that that morning I woke up and I mean I, I had symptoms in a big way and I called the owner of the bar that I was scheduled to have the show on at that that Friday night and said, uh, you know, hey, um, this is this is not the call you want to get from me, but. Um, I'm, I'm showing all the telltale symptoms of, of, of COVID-19 and I've scheduled myself to get a, get a test. That's before you could just, you know, get the in and out quick test. Um, I said, I've scheduled myself to get a test at the, uh, and there's a waiting, there's a waiting list for tests. Um, I says I scheduled myself to get a test at, at the urgent care right next to me. I said, I just, there's just no way I, I could or should come in tonight. And the bar owner was, you know, completely understanding about it. And he was glad I let him know. Um, and, and, you know, and, and, and I think at that point, like, it was sort of a... They were saying, you know, that you could could possibly be spreading it two weeks prior to showing symptoms. So, I mean, whatever he wanted to do with that information was, was on him. Um, but at that point, you know, it wasn't determined positive or anything. But it was a... Anyway, it was a Friday. And that particular day, um, later that afternoon, was when Governor Ducey announced the second bar lockdown. With no advance warning, nothing. Um, the bars had, as of his, his announcement, tweet and public announcement over the internet, and I think it was broadcast on you know, several TV and radio stations. Um, I think I heard it live on KTAR, if memory serves. Um, <clears throat> bars had like two hours to close so yeah he fucked a lot of local businesses with that um fucked a lot of people in the service industry with that um two hours to close i mean yeah i believe that i had i had covid i had done the right thing i had i had uh self-quarantine i had scheduled a test but to shut down every bar yeah that was a knee-jerk reaction and to do it on a friday night which for most bars is their biggest funny night. 
and bartenders who rely on tips, and cocktail waitresses, and karaoke hosts, and band members who rely on tips. That's their biggest money night. Getting ready, going into work, planning on having that income. Yeah, you got two hours. Oh, are you making money tonight? Is that what you need to pay your rent this week? <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, that's how that went down. So it ended up not impacting, you know, my, my getting COVID ended up not impacting me financially because I had already, you know, I determined I was sick. I pulled myself out of the equation. I was not going that night. And, and, and yeah, that was going to impact the bar some by them not having entertainment that night. But, I mean, the, the bar would have still been able to stay in business and run the jukebox and and do whatever I, I I'm 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 pretty dang reliable at, at showing up for shows but occasionally shit does happen and 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 usually the replacement for me ends up being the jukebox runs that night and some people will surely come in for karaoke and be like what there's no karaoke and just turn around and leave but you know some some people are gonna stay at least have a drink sit down try to figure out where else to go over karaoke and maybe play a song in the jukebox or something but anyway um so whatever the date that was <laughs> look that up there's still stories sitting on the web that shows when that happened that's the that's the date i got covered and ever since then obviously my body would have made you know i, I fought the disease off i was healthy within a week more or less and i've been feeling fine ever since um since then, I've been, it's, I've had many people in my circle that have been confirmed that they've gotten COVID. So, I mean, there's no question in my mind, I've been exposed to COVID 20 plus times since then, like direct exposure. And I've continued to stay healthy. So I'm, I'm hundred percent convinced that I've got natural immunity. And that's why I personally am, am choosing not to, uh, not to, not to get the vaccine. Um, there, there have been uh, some things that I've read, and granted, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I don't absolutely research everything out, but I mean, some sources are clearly more reliable than others, and I've seen from some pretty reliable sources talking about how the 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 chance of a negative reaction to the to the vaccine is is a lot higher for somebody that does have immunity so i don't know for me it's just an unnecessary thing i mean i, I look at i look at i look at it this way if i'm already driving the car and i got a jack and spare in the car i probably don't really need a second spare in the car so i know it's pretty uh <laughs> pretty bad analogy but that's where i'm at with it so i see somebody that's definitely waiting for the bus over at the uh the bus stop, so I'm going to assume it's coming soon. And I, see, I feel like I was here not long ago when that same woman was waiting for the bus, so I, I'm sure she'll be up and doing the, uh, doing the, uh, doing the funky chicken to make the bus driver stop, because as I've said many times, if you're not up and dancing when the bus drives by, they just assume you're a homeless person squatting in the bus stop and they don't stop, which to me is pretty appalling. Um, because it, it gives no consideration for the fact that the person waiting for the bus could have vision issues or they can't see the bus coming until the bus, you know, stops for them. Uh, and, and they can hear, like, when the buses stop, there's a speaker on the outside for the visually impaired that says what bus it is. It announces it. Um, it could be that it's a visually impaired person sitting there waiting. Um, it could be that it's a person who's deaf sitting there waiting that... that maybe could see it but you know for whatever but if, but they're if they're looking at something else they certainly don't hear it approaching um anyway bottom line is that drivers are supposed to stop if there's somebody seated at the bus stop um this this situation of large amounts of homeless people squatting at the bus stops that's a different problem that's something that needs to be addressed um I did actually send a complaint to the uh, to Valley Metro about it, and they did send me a response. And their response was to call the when I encountered that to call the police non-emergency number. 
Yeah, I'm not really about calling the police non-emergency number for things that trivial. And, and, and let me explain my use of the term trivial. I don't, I don't consider it to be a trivial thing. It's something I find extremely frustrating. But as far as trivial in terms of, of as under, understaffed as the Phoenix PD is right now, um, yeah, they got more important things to do than check and see if there's a homeless person squatting on a, uh, on a bus bench. Um, squatting on a, on a bus bench that by the time that low priority call gets handled it's probably not there anymore um, but on the same note it, it does seem like something that there needs to be some effort put into um, you know so I mean I I, I I don't know exactly what goes in the daily life of a cop beyond things that I've seen on, on, on TV and anecdotal things that have been told to me by friends of mine that are police officers or were police officers but it would seem to me much in the way that when I was a juicer for lime, oh wow, look at that old, old uh, wood siding uh, station wagon. That's wild. That is something you just don't see anymore. That is awesome. And it's not, not that pretty to look at, but I can see somebody fixing that up into something, something badass. And then we got another crunched in door. A lot of those these days. I think a lot of people are really hurting and uh, their doors get hit. They're just, there's an insurance that's either a hit and run like my last vehicle damage accident, or it's, uh, or they're just taking the taking the check and, and cashing it. Or, or they're getting fucked by the insurance company. I did have that accident in the Benz a couple of years ago. Oh, I want to say, I want to say October of 2019, but now that I'm thinking about it, it might have been October of 2018. I think it was October 2019. I had somebody back, I don't know, I had somebody back into me in the Fry's parking lot. It was very open and shut. Their fault of the accident. I mean, I was going straight through in the, in the row between parking spots, and this person literally backed into me as I was driving and had the right-of-way. So... But their insurance company decided it was my fault because it was their sole decision to make. Um, my insurance company wasn't involved because I don't have uh, full coverage insurance. It's not something I was, you know, that situation is not something I was insured against. Now I'm sure if my insurance company was involved, there would have been some some hemming and hawing and arguing and threatening to use lawyers, and I, I think their insurance company would have paid up. But I didn't really have the uh, time and energy to fight it and certainly didn't have any money to put into a lawyer for it. So my bins got kind of dinged up. And that was kind of the, the day that I decided that I wasn't going to restore that Benz into a nice car. It just it was a permanent beater to be driven until it really wasn't worth fixing anymore, which I think is the point it's at now. Um, oh, I got sidetracked talking about that. Uh, 18 minutes into this, I got a feeling I am not going to reach the state capitol by noon. Uh, that sucks. Anyway, I'm just going to wrap this up because it seems like on, on this phone, uh, I'm, I'm phone, filming on the second Obama phone. I did turn the image stabilization on, so I'm eager to see if that makes any difference in the video quality. Because uh, the video quality on this phone, for the most part, has been pretty decent. I've been impressed with it for, you know, being a, a free phone. But... I do definitely notice more shakiness in it than on, on the iPhone. My hand is a little extra shaky today. That certainly isn't helping. But um, I, did, I did turn on a stabilization mode, so hopefully that, uh, hopefully that helps. Anyway, thanks for, uh, thanks for coming with. Hopefully I'll be able to shoot some good video when I'm uh, downtown. And hopefully I don't miss too much of the beginning of this protest. But, um, yeah... I'm kind of at the mercy of a bad public transportation system, and I don't see anybody uh, protesting for better uh, protesting for better public transit. So that just is what it is. Anyway, uh, wow! Look, I found some more uh, portable portable housing. <laughs> Another hidden place for homeless people to spot. Good times. Anyway, hey, thanks thanks for watching, and uh, there will be more. <laughs>